Hey guys, ECRG here, and I want to talk to you today about three reasons why you should take PTO. Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about three reasons why you should take PTO. Now a lot of you guys might be thinking, why would he be encouraging us to take PTO? Shouldn't we be encouraged to work more so we can work harder? Uh, looks better on our boss and then we can maybe get a promotion and a bigger bonus at the end of the year Well, ideally it would be nice if that actually mattered But those things don't really matter that much when it comes to your bonus. So unfortunately, you're stuck doing something else You need to take PTO The first reason is longevity If you plan on being in your career for a while if you plan on being in your job for a while and steadily working your way up the ladder or just steadily trying to gain experience you need to have the stamina to be able to last long in that role see here in America we work a standard 40 hours a week but of course we know we actually work more than that in a week and if you're gonna be continuing to pound that week in and week out you need a break sometimes so you could stand the test of time and last a long time in this in the industry even a player as great as LeBron, he, he's got to take rest during the, during the year. If you remember back in the day when Tim Duncan was playing, Greg Popovich was always re would always rest him so that he was ready to go in the playoffs. And you need to do the same thing. You need to make sure that you're well rested throughout the year so when it's go time, when it's championship time, you're ready to perform. And even as passionate as you might be, as passionate as I am about clinical research and my job, and taking care and helping the patients you need rest to be able to do that for a long time so you need you need to be able to take PTO in order to do what you want to do and help all these people that you want to help for the long duration of time for the long career that you plan on having another reason and actually the reason why I even decided to make this video in the first place is so that people don't take you for granted when someone shows up and performs every single day you kind of get used to how they perform and the and then expectations begin to grow on what you expect for them. If they show up every day not taking PTO, you expect them to be in, be there day in and day out. And while that's important to have that reliability, you can also learn to take someone for granted in that situation. Imagine a married couple. They're with each other all the time. You expect them to, to be there. So someone may, you know, be fine not coming home on time or spend, not spending a lot of time with that person because they know they'll always be there. Same thing in the work environment. If someone's always going to be there, you may take them for granted. You may not say thank you for the work that they do. You may not appreciate them as much if they're always there. So take PTO. Let your team understand where your value is. Let them struggle a little bit while you're not there so they know like, oh, wow, this, this person's really good at what they do. We need them to come back things aren't the same when they're not here so we need them to come back and perform and they'll have a greater appreciation for you when you come back from pto because they know how hard it was without you and have a greater appreciation for what you do so that's one of the main reasons why you should be taking pto use your days not only longevity but it's easy for people to start to take take you for granted and we don't want anyone to be taken for granted so use your pto the third reason is it's yours, so take it. You earn those days, so you should use them to, your, to the best of your ability. In America, we only get 10, day, 10 working days minimum of PTO. That's pathetic. You mean to tell me out of a whole 365 days, I only get 10 days off PTO, and I work a full-time job in a trillion dollar industry such as clinical research? That is pathetic. In the EU and other countries abroad, they get five weeks paid vacation minimum. And that we are the only country in the Western world that does that. So use, use those days, you only get so many of them. Now typically as you grow an organization and you get more and more seniority, you, you tend to get more vacation days off. But in the USA, we, we are one of the hardest working countries in the world. And because of that, in order to continue in that environment you need to take those PTO days so you don't burn yourself out now a lot of companies 
well not a lot but a few have moved to the unlimited pto days now on the surface that might sound like oh this is such a great company to work for you can take as many pto days as you want but of course when you read between the lines they're not really about that and in those companies employees feel the need to work even more than if they had a set number like 10 days or 15 days of PTO required because a lot of people in those companies aren't taking that many days off because no one else is taking taking that many days off they don't know how many days are appropriate and how many days are not appropriate especially if the company can fire you if you take quote unquote too many even if they have a, an unlimited PTO policy so if your company has an unlimited PTO policy I would kind of look around and see what other people are taking and take that same amount of PTO so you don't get fired but I would also urge your company to move away from that and go towards the more standard structure because people tend to take way less PTO on an unlimited PTO policy even though it's supposed to be unlimited so I would just watch out for that as well all right guys thank you so much for watching this video I like to urge you to like and comment down below if you have any questions please like this video it helps us out so much share it with all your friends in the clinical research industry or just in the workforce altogether a lot of my videos apply uh, to both clinical research and the overall working world business world etc so please comment down below you can email us at eliteclinicalgroup at gmail.com we'll do our best to respond in a timely manner Greatly appreciate you guys, um, and that'll be all for today. Take care. Hey guys, I'd like to thank you for still listening to this video. I'm going to give you a couple bonus reasons to take PTO just for hanging on and listening all the way through. So for those of you that stopped this video because you thought it was over, shame on you. You should have watched it all the way through. So I'm going to give the people that are still listening a couple bonus reasons. So the first bonus reason is to broaden your horizons. Wow, that's that's an interesting perspective, isn't it? So you mean to tell me that if I'm not working all the time, that I'll become a w more well-rounded and better person? Yes, that's exactly what I'm telling you. Of course. You want to use that PTO time to, to go travel. Go travel to other parts of the country, other parts of the world. Uh, you'll be able to learn a different language, eat some new food, get some better ideas, which could in turn help improve your workplace and improve your work back at work how many times have you been working on something really really hard and then you go take a break from it for a while and then the idea just all of a sudden hits you all these good ideas start flooding in or the the perfect idea hits you all of a sudden because your brain is working on it even while you're resting well that can happen when you're taking time off as well you know you're working on a hard project and then all of a sudden you leave for a week a couple weeks and then you decide and then you decide to come back and get right back into the project you have all these new ideas and a whole new perspective that you didn't have before so that's one other reason to take your PTO to help broaden your horizons and the second bonus example is and this mainly goes to the managers and people high up is to lead by example what I mean by that is some employees find that they're not taking PTO because everyone else on the team and their higher ups aren't taking PTO. So they figure, why should they be taking PTO? And now if you're a manager and you take PTO, you'll lead by example and show that your team, it's okay to take PTO. Your peers, it's okay to take PTO to rest and recharge. And in return, you'll get more in return when, when you come back, when they come back. When the employees come back, you know, they're rested and recharged. They're gonna be prepared to give you more in the team atmosphere and to help you meet your deadlines better quicker more efficiently and to help you meet your project and your time and your uh, your project goals in due time so make sure you keep those examples there's only good reasons why you should be taking PTO there's, there's no bad reasons you've earned it you should be taking your PTO and it's just better for the company it's better for the world it's better for the country it's better for everybody if you take your PTO alright guys now for real I'm done with this video um, if you liked it go ahead and subscribe um, please subscribe go ahead and like it and you can email us at eliteclinicalgroup at gmail.com alright guys take care